George Jr. The, the, the dream is still alive for separation and for full sovereignty, the, but the conditions are not right. That was a result that really astounded me. Having lived and worked there and followed it, how do you explain this? Yeah, wasn't that very interesting? Um, you know, when I was working in Kurdistan, I was working in a, as an advisor to the Ministry of Planning, which is an incredibly technical ministry. They um, they run the investment and construction budget for um, for the KRG, and being in a technical ministry like that showed me how very savvy the Kurds actually are, um, the KRG Kurds um, actually are in, in terms of uh, their politics. And they see the details of these issues. They immediately start to think about what would practically have to happen on the ground to implement the policy. And I think that you're seeing in, in those numbers the results of those considerations because you can declare independence, but where are the borders? You know, the borders are still contested. Um, they still, you know, when everything works as it should, and not saying that it, it's working as it should right now, but there's a constitutional benefit and a budgetary benefit from being a part of Iraq when it works as it's supposed to. And it's just a combination of the Kurds seeing all of these very, very practical issues and doing, you know, just drawing on the paper, the cost-benefit analysis. Right now, um, it, it's not in their best interest to be separated from Iraq. 